Hey, good afternoon. It's Greg Christensen at Grandview Grain and Livestock. Hey, uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, how do you keep your goats in? And uh, I'm going to do some regular fencing videos, I promise. But here, just real quick today, I wanted to show you what's holding this group of uh, yearlings in. You know, this is the group. We had the feeders up there. I don't know, there's uh, 550 of them, I guess, out here, something like that. Uh, sheep and goats, males and females, and here's the fence that's holding them in. Uh, it's a three-wire electric, you know, if you can see the wires very well there. Um, you know, the spacing, I mean, it's, it's not even all the same on every post. If you want to know the truth, sometimes I don't even know why they stay in. Uh, here, we'll check the fence. Got my fence compass. All right, you can see that. Oh, 7.3, 7.4 kilovolts. Um, so, yeah, if they hit that, they're not going to like it. Here's check this one. That's not even turned on. That was not even turned on. Yeah, I just got one of these three wires hot here. There's nothing other than that that's keeping them in. They're just, I don't know, they just don't want out. They've been raised around an electric fence. Um, you know, honestly, sometimes I, it just amazes me that they stay in. Um, around our other pastures there where we have a barbed wire fence behind it we just have one uh, 12 and a half gauge electric wire and in front of the barbed wire um, i started out with two i've got two of them up on some of the pastures here at home um, on this pasture back here where the cows are you can hear them there's there's two around the interior of that just oh uh, probably eight ten inches away from the the barbed wire um, you know it's not that important I mean you can see here I've only got one of these three wires hot and uh, they're not that tight they're kind of saggy right here but the animals have plenty to eat um, that's one of the keys to it and they were out here they've been out here since so uh, probably first part of September um, so they're used to being out in the same spot. I really don't think they've ever got out, or if one got out, I went back in. Um, oh, here's uh, Border Collie I'm training. This is Autumn. She's uh, about a year and a half old. Uh, she's she's probably going to be a good dog. I, Still working with her. It's training on a on a dog is continual. Um, hey Autumn. Hey Autumn says uh, make sure to like and uh, subscribe to the video here with with her in it. She wants to be a star. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you another example of uh, the fencing here that's holding these guys in. Um, three wires. Uh, there's the sheep and goats out there. Um, now this happens to be 14 gauge wire here. Don't use that. I'd used this before I knew that it uh, wasn't really a thing to do. Or learn better make sure you use 12 and a half gauge it just carries more electricity stronger this 14 gauge wire is always stretching always breaking if we snag it on four-wheeler or something as we're trying to go across it um, yeah but you can see I mean the wire spacing you know there you go they could jump right through there but they just don't really try it 
Um, they could go down here, they could jump over this. But they got plenty to eat. They've been out there a while. Um, honestly, they just don't try it. So yeah, here I stepped across this pasture where the cows were and you can see maybe the the two wires there. Um, I mean, honestly, we never even electrify the bottom one anymore. The top one's hot. Yeah, 7.2. But the bottom... Uh, it's not even, it's not even turned on, see? It's got disconnected. It's hot, stay. This is a uh, electric gate put up. I'll talk more about that. Well, I don't have the cows interfering. But this is what keeps uh, the goats in, and you can see, like, even right here, they could go under that. Um, they just don't want to try it. Plus, that bottom wire is not even hot. Bottom. Stay. This is Grandview Grain and Livestock. Have a good afternoon.